You guys are never going to believe this. This is something that I never do. I walked outside of the barn and I had the flashlight and thank goodness I had the flashlight. The closet seems so much bigger now without all the effects in here and with the water hitting the corner. And look, see, this is all mine. And then this is yours. <laughs> Right now, I'm just taking the rough measurements of the bottom of this water heaters because I'm going to be actually setting it on a foam pad. This is more of a common pro practice in northern climates. Like, I think it's code in Washington state. But uh, we want the water heaters to be as efficient as possible. So, of course, we have the solar batch water heater, which is going to preheat the water. And then I'm going to have the insulated uh, bottom so the floor doesn't transfer any of the uh, cooler temperatures from the inside or whatnot it's definitely a little bit of overkill but one percent changes over the course of this entire build will dramatically increase the efficiency and since we're running totally on solar power and batteries those one percent changes really matter So we've pretty much done everything that we can to the water heater inside. We've now moved outside to our batch water heater. So for those of you that don't know, a batch water heater just preheats the water by the sun and then sends it inside to our water heater in there. So this just makes it require less electricity in order to heat our water. So we just have to finish insulating this and also seal up the glass door on the front and then we should be good to go. You're gonna start vacuuming? Yeah, I gotta clean all this debris and out of here. Spencer wanted a shop vac for so long, so now that he has one, he's constantly cleaning everything. I hope you use this whenever we live in the house. You're probably gonna forget how to use it. Ladies and gentlemen, what we are witnessing now is a fascinatingly rare occurrence. The male specimen is cleaning his environment. Watch as he takes care of his water heating source and takes great satisfaction in his accomplishments. Absolutely wonderful. Man, he's really getting in there. Amazing. But wait, what is this? This has never been seen before. He is cleaning his cleaning device. Absolutely magnificent. What are you about to do? Oh my God. <laughs> Flash this opening. <laughs> we use zip tape for everything. <laughs> Pretty morning today. Better enjoy it while it lasts because we don't have too much of this on the forecast. This next like week or so is going to be nothing but rain and overcast. So yeah, no fun. Well, anyways, before all that rain comes, 
I'm gonna try to finish up this uh, batch water heater because uh, we're really, really close to being able to pressurize the house with water. And one of those steps in order to do that is this batch water heater. Granted, I could bypass it if I really wanted to, but I don't want to, I wanna finish it up. I guess before I chop into this door, I should probably explain why I'm about to do that. This is an old sliding glass door and there's a little lip where the two doors have like a weather stripping seal that fit inside. So whenever the doors close, it's like an air seal, weather, weather seal, whatever. So I just need that gone. It's going to sit underneath the flashing uh, towards the top of the batch water heater. So yeah, with that in the way, then I won't be able to put the flashing down. So. Let me chop that off. Looks like I got some spectators this morning. There. Guess they got a little too close to the fence. Well, this tree blooming means spring is almost officially here. We're almost out of winter. Good sign. Thank God. <laughs> Can't wait for more things to start blooming. The trees, the flowers. The living roofs. The living roofs, uh -huh. yeah. Adventure baby. Yeah, this is fun. When do you think we'll see our first mate? April. No. I think within two weeks we see our first mate here. Yeah. You know I just know these things. I'm telling you, we're gonna look back at this recording within two weeks when we see a little snakey, okay? This looks so cool. Like this looks sharp.
so the batch water heater is all done. Well, I can't say all done. <laughs> There's still a couple little things I'm gonna have to do. Like I'm gonna have to take the glass back off and I wanna put a thermostat in there to monitor the heat inside of the chamber. And then just like some little trim around the top of the metal on the inside. Excuse me, Bo, I'm talking. <laughs> yeah, just some trim along the metal on the inside and I think that'll pretty much wrap it up. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Whenever we first started on this batch water heater and we were ripping apart all the insulation off of it, I was a little nervous how it was going to turn out and how it was going to end up looking, but it looks really good. Thank you. On to the inside one. <laughs> So Bo's chilling right now, so I'm gonna go snake hunting, okay? Oh my god. I probably am only gonna need like five minutes because I'm gonna find one like right away. You're so dumb. Okay, I'll be back. Tonight we're having snake stew. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right guys, this path right here, we call the snake gauntlet. <laughs> Well, no luck seeing any snakes, so I guess I'm just gonna have to come back out here at nighttime and see if I see any. You guys are never going to believe this. This is something that I never do. I walked outside of the barn and I had the flashlight, and thank goodness I had the flashlight, because there's a snake right next to our car, right next to the driver's side door, and Spencer was about to walk right there so he would have walked right up on the snake okay wait let me see if I can see it I'm telling you we're gonna look back at this recording within two weeks when we see a little snakey okay right there next to the tire that's just a rat snake I'm gonna okay I'm gonna go a little closer right in our walkway over to the trailer You know how many times we walk out here and we don't have a light? True. You know what he's trying to do right now, right? What? He's gonna come right around here and go right on into our barn. Know, really this is what I get. I'm out there I'm looking for snakes and this one's like, hey, I'm right here. <laughs> and we got a toad right here. We got so much nature going on right now. And I'm scared of everything. <laughs> now that the batch water heater is done, we can move on to installing the water heater inside. We still have some odds and ends to complete before we can get back to having normal home amenities, but we want to do things right the first time. It's not just about hooking something up as quickly as we can. It's about thinking ahead and having to rely on as few moving parts and people as possible. Being able to store the sun's energy in a water tank just gets us one step closer to that goal. 